This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Imagine we have some arbitrary polygon and a starting point P. The question is, what is the shortest path that starts at point P, touches all sides, and then comes back to the starting location? Now I'm not going to put any numbers in here because it really doesn't matter, but just think about how you would solve this problem if you were given side lengths and angles or equations or whatever. Now this isn't so simple because there's a lot of ways we can manipulate this path. But the solution I'm going to show isn't very math intensive. No, what I'm showing is not the only method, it was just one I really liked and wanted to highlight. To understand it, I'm first going to ask a simpler question though. If I put a point Q randomly on the right side, what is the shortest path that goes from P to the bottom side to Q? Well, we could make an equation for these distances as a function of this bottom point X and use some calculus to find the X that creates an absolute minimum for the total distance. But watch this. I'm going to zoom out a bit so I can reflect the polygon and those points over the bottom side to get this. Now for any path that connects P to the bottom side to Q, I'm going to reflect the second line segment over as well. And this length will be the same as the top one because it is just a reflection. Thus for any X I choose, this path and this path are going to be the same length. And as we move X around, it's obvious that the shortest total path will occur when we have a straight line from P to this lower Q which means this here is the shortest path that we were looking for. Amazingly, this still works as we keep reflecting. I'll zoom out again, and first I'm gonna reflect the blue polygon about this side, and I'll do one more reflection of that new polygon about this side to get this configuration here. Now the goal is to find the shortest path from P to itself around all four sides, which means we just have to find the shortest path from this P to this one, which is obviously, again, a straight line. The reason this works is because the four line segments here, all within one of the polygons, correspond to one of the four line segments that will continuously connect P to itself in the original. For example, this path here corresponds to this one, which we achieved by reflecting over the original bottom side. The length hasn't changed since it's just a reflection, but now it connects two more sides in the original polygon. This third line segment I can reflect back once over that same side we reflected the polygon over, and then again also over the original bottom side to get this here. Again, length hasn't changed, but now it's more obvious that it continues the red path and connects two more sides. And lastly, the smaller line segment in that bottom polygon can be reflected back three times about those same sides as we did with the polygons, and this gives us our answer. What you see in red is the shortest path from P to itself touching all four sides. Another way to think about this is that if I slightly change the path in red to anything else and do those reflections back, we'd get a continuous path from P to the bottom one that isn't a straight line. Thus, this is definitely longer than the previous configuration. So it can't be the shortest path since we simply can't beat a straight line. So that was the one solution I wanted to highlight, didn't really have another video where this example could fit, but if you like these kinds of math puzzles and want to improve your problem solving skills, then you can continue your learning over at Brilliant, the sponsor of this video. Their contest math series actually relates to this video because it involves more advanced math questions and puzzles that appear in math competitions and typically have clever solutions that require some out of the box thinking. And there's a range of topics here from polynomials to modular arithmetic to combinatorics and more, so you can really get in some practice and improve your problem solving abilities. And what I really love is all their courses come with visuals and animations to help you really understand even the more advanced concepts. And whether you're looking to learn about algebra to differential equations to astronomy or algorithms, Brilliant has exactly what you're looking for. Also, the first 200 people to sign up with the link below or by going to brilliant.org slash Zachstar will get 20% off their annual premium subscription. And with that, I'm going to end that video there. Thanks as always to my supporters on Patreon. Social media links to follow me are down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.